I'm Tula and today I'm going to show you some ideas of how you can use your yarn stash as part of your home decor. The first one is showing right behind me. I love to have my yarn cupboards and shelves and whatnot uh, in colors that I like otherwise. So this one is bright pink with glass shelves. I also sew. And above my yarn cupboard, you can see some of my uh, sewing thread, the way I've set that out. So let's take a look. Here I have a large glass vase. And here the important thing is that you see what's in it. And I have chosen colors that I really like. As you can see, it's mainly pink, purple, lilac. And uh, this sits in the corner of my living room. Times I take the top, top ones outside and shake them a bit because, of course, they do get some dust on them. But I have never found that to be a problem. Another very handy thing is using CD shelves. You also get them very reasonable in uh, second-hand stores because people don't have CDs anymore much. And it's high and it takes very little space on the floor. So you can put it into any kind of a small corner and it will look nice and take up very little room. For carrying my yarn or my projects from room to room, I prefer to have a basket that's transparent because that way I see exactly where each wool is and I don't need to sort of move them about to find what I'm looking for. Take a look at the yarn at the top, this and that there. I've got them from the Knit Crate yarn subscription. It's a monthly yarn club with lovely yarn. You can check the address in my video description. And here's another one. This is really for children's room. And lots of people use these as uh, hangers for soft toys. But it goes well with wool as well. Just you need to be careful that you don't put too much into it. And also that wherever you hang it, that it can take the weight. I'm also using the top shelf of all my filing things and craft magazines and things to keep some yarn in colorful baskets. Here I have two baskets of all sorts of things I use for Christmas. They are all glitter. And, and then a basket of leftovers of variegated yarn after making socks. This is what I have on top of a large old living room unit. I have many tiny balls of leftover yarn in a large glass jar. And then also lots of crochet hooks in an old vase. It's actually something my mother had already in the 50s. But this is also right in my living room. So you have seen some of my ideas and I'm sure you have plenty of your own. Please write them down in the comments. I would love to hear more ideas. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I keep making more knitting and crochet videos. But this is all today, so bye bye.